Right then, Umar Namagomedov has beaten Corey Sandhagen via unanimous decision. Um, and overall, it was a good, solid performance from Umar uh, Namagomedov, to be fair. By 41 every round apart from the first round. But again, he could have probably arguably won the first round. Uh, I thought it was just a perfect performance from Umar, to be fair. I thought Umar was very good on the feet, mixed in some good takedowns, went for a few uh, takedown attempts on the ground. But to be fair, he didn't mix in any damage on the ground, though. That's the thing. He, When he was going for those submission attempts, there wasn't really any damage done. But when he did get the, takes down, uh, the takedowns on Corey, um, Umar was, well, outstriking Corey on the feet or... In the round, Umar was just able to take Corey down. And well, and that was like fourth and fifth where he was just able to take him down and kind of control him on the ground. But first round, I thought Corey uh, Sanhagen was picking his shots really well uh, and, you know, was getting up from uh, the odd takedown attempt from Umar. And Sanhagen started well, in my opinion, but just started to gas as the fight went on. In the first round, he was picking his leg kicks well, uh, you know, going upstairs well to the head of Umar, putting his shots together well and going to the body, landing some good shots. Um, I thought the first round was good from Corey and, you know, he was aware of the takedown threat as well. He was on that front foot. But in that second round again, I thought the second round was close, but I think Umar landed the better shots, landing more shots than what Corey did on the feet as well. Uh, Corey Sanhagen was countering well, but... Umar was definitely landing the bigger shots overall, putting his shots together better, and I think was and I think was smart with his work and was out striking Corey in that second round. Mixed in the odd takedown as well, Cor uh, Umar, sorry, but Corey was able to get back to his feet quite well. Third round again, I, it was just Umar just out striking Corey Sanhagen on the feet in that third round. Um, and yeah, we mixed uh, from my notes. Yeah, he, he did mix in the takedown at the very end of the round, uh, trying to get a submission attempt in. No damage done, though. But yeah, Umar was dominating on the feet in that third round, in my opinion. Was good, picking his shots well. And again, Corey just didn't really have enough of a response uh, for Umar, to be fair. And, you know, I think Umar striking is definitely improving fight by fight, in my opinion, 100%. Um, Fourth round, again, I thought Umar was countering well uh, and Umar was just outstriking Corey, basically. Countering and outstriking him completely. Uh, Corey landed the odd shot, but like the odd decent shot and had a decent flurry at times in the fourth. But in the end, he was just taken down um, for about three minutes uh, of control time in that third round. Corey and U Umar was just controlling him on the ground. No damage done, no, but Umar was just frustrating him, didn't let him up, had the back of Corey. And yeah, I think he was kind of frustrating Corey quite a bit when once it got to that fourth round because Umar was just able to simply control Corey Sanagan, really. And that was a shame. And I think Corey was getting hit quite a lot because he did have his shin quite high in the air as well, which I do think let him down when it came into the striking department. Uh, when it came into the striking department, because I think Corey expected to win on the feet, but he was getting out, he, he was just getting outstruck throughout the fight, really, apart from in the first round. Um, and again, round five, Umar won the round. He was controlling Corey on the ground for most of the round and landed the better strikes on the feet, 100%, in my opinion. So overall, good performance from Umar and Magomedov doing what he had to do. Won convincingly on all judges' scorecards. It is what it is at the end of the day. I'm gutted that Corey Sanhagen didn't win, but Umar did his thing. He's a difficult guy to figure out, in my opinion. And I think a big thing with Umar as well is that I don't think he's amazing at anything really, but he's very well rounded. He can do everything well, but he's not outstanding at everything. Like his wrestling isn't absolutely outstanding. His striking is not absolutely outstanding, but he's very well rounded and he can do everything that. Uh, and, and, you know, he can do everything, in my opinion. He can grapple well offensively. He can wrestle really well. And, you know, if, if you can outstrike someone like Corey Sanek, and then, you know, that's very solid stuff, in my opinion. It's very solid stuff if he can, you know, do what he did today with Corey Sanhagen on the feet. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was good to see from Umar. Very good to see from him. Um, what's next? I mean, you know, we beat Corey Sanhagen, who's number two in the division. I think Umar's going to have a big jump up the rankings. I wouldn't mind seeing Umar versus uh, Figueredo. Wouldn't mind that at all. I think that'd be a fun fight. Um, 
I mean, yeah, I think that makes sense. Umar versus Piotr Jan. I don't know that can happen. I think Umar does need another win or two before he does uh, get a fight with uh, the winner of O'Malley Marab. I do think Umar needs another win or two. Uh, for Corey Sanhagen, could he rematch Marlon Vera? Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind seeing yeah, Corey Sanhagen and Marlon Vera rematch, to be fair. Wouldn't mind seeing that. Corey Sanhagen, Song Yadong, I think could be an interesting one as well. Um, yeah, I think there's interesting fights to make for Corey Sanhagen. He needs to get, build himself back up there, of course. But I don't think there's any shame in losing to Umar, uh, to be fair. But yeah, overall, not a bad fight overall. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm disappointed Corey didn't win. There were some good scrambles as well, but as it just got later on, Corey clearly started to gas quite a bit. And as the rounds went on, Umar was just able to control Corey on the ground a lot easier and a lot better. And on the feet... Corey was getting beat on the feet as well. Couldn't get his own damage done. Umar was the main one who was putting in all that damage on the feet as well. So, yeah, again, I don't see how Corey won any round apart from the first round, unfortunately. But, yeah, I thought judges got it right 100%. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Speak to you on the bit.